Good morning. Welcome to a summer morning day in the life of Rockfish Farm. <laughs> so I'm down here. Let's see. What time is it? It is 8.15. I'm a little late. I'm surprised these horses are not like screaming at me. But the first thing I do, they stay out at night uh, right now. And then uh, I bring them in and get them fed. I have all of my buckets set up from the night before, especially the alfalfas. I now soak for 12 hours. So, and then I'll show you uh, how I set them up for the next feeding. I always set everything up for the next feed. Here they are. They know it's time, don't you? All right, everybody's stalls filled. They're gonna go back out today, so I didn't put hay or anything. We filled the water buckets last night and they should run to their stalls. So let's see if they do. Ah, Dip Dips. Hi. AJ, you ready? These two are always the first at the gates. Come on, everybody. Come on. All right, they're in there. Where are you going? You know where your stall is. It's not that way. <laughs> you know where yours is. Don't go in there with him. Gotta get everybody shut before they... Oh, don't go. Okay. <laughs> not in that one either? Crap. Next one. Good girl. <laughs> Tippy. Okay, Glimmer. You almost lost your breakfast. I see, girl. You're still getting used to your stall, huh? Okay, so while they're eating, I prep the next feed. I've got all of these prep buckets, which you saw, and I've got their names on them. Actually, I need to fix two of them. And then I just set up the next feed and I go ahead and I water down the alfalfa. So, Glimmer gets a quarter scoop of alfalfa. Reese gets a quarter scoop of alfalfa. And then they each get a cup of balancer as well. That's for both meals. And then the rest of them, Dippin' Dots used to get alfalfa, but we're taking her back because she choked on it. And also I'm kind of giving her the month of June to like chill, to harden her feet. And uh, so I've cut her back off the alfalfa. She, she can handle it. And then we'll see if she needs the energy, we'll add it in later. So Applejack gets a cup of balancer. That's all he gets, that's all he needs. <laughs> Skittles gets a half a cup of balancer. That's all she needs. And then Dippin' Dots, we do a cup and a half. I do all of my medications and supplements in the mornings, so setting up the nighttime feed is super easy. So when I do the water, I do just soak, I do, I cover it and then go up at least maybe half an inch or an inch above it. Let's do a little bit more. And I just stack them all together. I'll do the ones that soak separately and then I set them down in the can. And put the lid on. Flip the, not the lights, the fans on for them in their stalls. And I'm just gonna let them hang out in their stalls for a little bit. I'm gonna go up. The two girls, the two older girls, they're still asleep this morning. I've got the young one up. She's sitting over in the side by side. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to do something with this hair when I go up to the We're gonna head up. I just had a grocery order delivered, which makes it so easy. We're gonna go up, make her breakfast, and then I'll come back down. But I wanna make sure that everybody is done eating and is a-okay before I leave. So Glimmer, she's still chomping away. Dippin' Dots is done. Hold on, Evie. AJ's done. He's just looking the ball. I know he's done. <laughs> he doesn't get very much. Do you, bud? Do you, buddy boy? 
And then Reese here, she's still munching away. Yep, she's still got a little bit in there. Hi. Sweet girl. Oh, you know what? I want to check. She had some bumps on her. All right, let's see here. I think they were on this side. Oh, they were still there. doesn't look swollen. She just has these, almost like they're like a mosquito bite or something. They're all right here. They actually feel less than they did last night. So we'll just keep watching it. Looking good otherwise. Sweet girl. So what is on my to-do list for today? So every day is kind of a little bit different, but my morning routine is usually the same. I come down, I get them fed, and then I'll put on their fly mask, their sunscreen, their coconut oil, all the things that they need to go out into the horse field, you know, because they can't survive on their own apparently, right? And I'm hoping today I might have some time to put some of the pelleted bedding in the stalls. I try to keep them up. I think Skittles needs some, possibly somebody else's does. Applejack maybe. I'm going to ride Applejack and then I'm going to probably work with Skittles on the ground, and then I might, by the end of the day, might be able to work with Dippin' Dots if I can fit it all in today. So today's kind of a, a busier day. Uh, I need the help of my two older girls to kind of entertain the little one while I do a little bit of riding too. And then of course I know that the girls will wanna ride too. So looks like all five horses are gonna get work today. It's gonna be a busy day. Warm out here too, so kind of wanting to fit in some baths for some of these dirty horses like you yeah you're dirty <laughs> uh, skittles out back here i think i'm gonna let reese out here too if she's done eating it doesn't well maybe she is hey you want to come out here come on here we go this is a small area back here so i only let two or three out at a time And then they can munch this down, and this is less grass that I have to mow. Hi, buddy. Hi. Are you jelly? Are you jealous? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so let me out. Those eyes suckered me into it. So he's out here, too. Don't give me any eyes, little girl. You don't need to be in a tight space with that one. So Dippin' Dots gets the work up here to be able to go out into the field. So we're trying to prevent abscesses, get these feet clean, harden the feet up, and then we've got other things going on. So the first thing that I do is I pick her feet, and then I had this spray that I got that a friend told me about uh, since she's been getting uh, thrush and the abscess. I want to try to prevent that. So every day I've been using this stuff. It's called Save a Hoof Spray. You spray it on the bottom and you spray it on the outside. So that's where I start every day to make sure it gets done. Come on. She's been real funny about her feet, her front feet, since she had the abscess. Like just kind of sensitive about them. This right front, ooh, it's still a mess, still a mess. So then I come to the outside and just give them a quick spray and hopefully over time, this will just get them straight and cleaned up. This Keratex hoof hardener has been great. <laughs> I can already tell a difference on her back feet. We removed her back shoes a cycle or two before we removed the front ones. And so I've been using this and then uh, now I've started on the fronts again since we removed and had all those issues. So I'm trying to toughen them up. So then I just put this on. Yesterday she had a tick embedded on her face right here. It kind of left a mark and man it looked nasty and red yesterday so pulled the tick off we're gonna spray with some wound and skin spray just a little bit on there 
Oops, sorry. <laughs> then she gets a little bit of sunscreen on her nose, lips, chin, all of these pink, real sensitive areas. She was real funny uh, when we first got her about her mouth, which she still is, as you can see. But I think she's just been sunburned pretty badly in the past. So I want to try to avoid that. Yes, good girl. Good girl. So I rub it all over. I try to get especially where the bit goes. The nose, and then I just finish up. I swipe it across the pinks of her eyes there, even though she gets a mask on. There we go. All right. Then she gets a mask with a nose piece <laughs> to cover as many places as possible. And she also, this also has the UV protectant in it because of the Appaloosas with the whites around their eyes and all that. We're trying to prevent <laughs> the uh, UV-itis. So this one has, you know, the um, UV protectant in it. And then this sweet girl is ready for the field. Doesn't she look cool? You ready? I'm gonna put you in the other field today. So you have a little bit of shade. All yeah. right, up the hill we go to the shady field. Just realized I forgot to put coconut oil on her chest and under her chin and under her belly. <laughs> I usually do that because it helps keep the flies off of her like really well but it does last a couple days and I did do it yesterday so hopefully she'll be okay. Up next is Glimmer. I usually don't put fly spray on them when they're just going out to the field. Fly spray lasts like 30 minutes so it's really not worth putting on for out in the field. I'm better off taking all of these other measures and saving the fly spray for when we actually ride. I've got Glimmer's cool bug mask on. She had coconut oil on last night, so she should be good too. Glimmer gets sweet itch during the summertime, so we do all that we can to try to prevent it. Like she wears fly boots unless she's riding. We just keep them on her at night too. Um, so she gets sweet itch because of all the flies and gnats and all that kind of stuff. So at the end of the summer, we usually have to pop in and save her with some hydroxyzine in her morning feed. But we usually don't start that until we see signs of it and she gets real itchy or she starts losing some hair, stuff like that. Right. I think that's all that's going to go out here right now because I think the other three I'm going to end up working with today. Skittles is going to be up first. We're going to work on some groundwork and then do some desensitizing with her. Which color do we want to use today? I'm thinking blue. Let's go blue. And this pony, where is she? Put them out back. Skittles! Must be all three down here in these stalls. <laughs> AJ, where's Skittles? I'm gonna play with you in a little bit. <gasps> I see you! I see you! out here. Next up on the list is to clean out this 
water trough. It is nasty because it's here under these pine trees. So I've got my bucket. I'm going to try to dish some out because it's too heavy for me to dump all at once. <laughs> if I can dump it now. Here we go. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to scrub that, but it's actually pretty clean, so I just need to refill it. Lugging the hose up here is one of the worst parts. My goal someday is to get water spigots put on at every single bucket, and I don't think it'll be that much to do. It's just a matter of making it happen. Girls are getting ready to ride. Cheyenne's gonna ride in the arena and Kaylin is gonna ride in the field, she says. Yeah? yeah. Are you gonna be a good girl, Reese? <laughs> Hi, Glim. Um, Hi, Glim. speed up the jumps today. Keeping her speed up to the jumps. Yeah. That's a good thing to work on. Yeah, because it's been kind of lazy going up to them. I wonder if she'll get more gray this year. Remember the one year she was real gray? Yeah. Sometimes she stays kind of white, but her face is looking gray. I decided to give Dip and Dots a bath while the other girls are brushing because they're taking their sweet time. So I might as well wash Dippy. So here's the before. You're not that dirty. You're not that dirty. It's gonna feel so good because it's hot out here. <laughs> You're so cute got my favorite tool. I think this is called the Aqua Paw. Yeah, the Aqua Paw. You can get it from Amazon. It is amazing. I did a whole video on it from last summer because it's just, it makes bath time like so quick for these horses. Oh, you look so pretty. We still got to rinse your face. All done. Look how good you look. You were a good girl got her tail really clean. It took me three times to get it all really clean to get it to like rinse clear. And then I did condition it and then I put in the Cowboy Magic Tail Detangler. And I used the purple shampoo on her. You look good, girl. All right, I missed Kaylin's ride because I was washing Dippin' Dot. She's gonna have a popsicle with her sister. I'm gonna go up and uh, help Cheyenne for a few minutes, okay? All right. Cheyenne is warmed up. She's gonna be jumping here in a minute. So she wants to work on her speed up to the jump and keeping her moving forward. Right, that's your plan? What? Your plan is to keep her moving forward to the jump? Yeah. Don't let her fall in. Lean to the outside or wait your outside stir up a little bit. There you go. So we ended up working on your takeoff spot, putting it out further so it's not such a stop and then go. She can now soar it. And so we've got that speed now too. So I think you're good to go. She's tired, let her cool out. Good job. Okay, well, we might not get as far as I had hoped today because up back behind the house, there is thunder rumbling. So. 
sounds like we're gonna get another storm. It already kind of thundered this afternoon, but it kind of dissipated and passed us. So we'll see what this one does. I've still got at least one more horse to work with. One more. Just give me time for one more. I'm telling you, the jobs just never end around here. So my husband just got home. We're trying to move this hay hut so that we can park our trailer over here. Cheyenne decided to ride Applejack for me, so we just finished up dinner. I am done for the day. I am done. It's been a long day, but it's been a fun day. It always is fun. I never get done quite what I think I'm going to get done, but we try, right? Thanks for coming along with us today. We'll see you next time.